Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus Nord CE2, and today I'll show you how you can enable your power saving mode. So to get started, let's pull down our notification, expand it, and look for the toggle, which for me is right over here, power saving mode. Once you locate it, which for you it should be roughly in the same location as it is for me, just because this is the default location of all the toggles, uh, once you locate it, simply tap on it. As you can see, it gives us actually a neat uh, timer, and so it shows us how much battery we have left. If you disable this, it actually disappears and you can also hold it. This will quickly take us to the settings. And as you can see right now with power saving mode off, we are getting almost 17 hours with it on. We're getting basically an hour more. To be completely honest, not the most uh, mind blowing power saving mode. Just getting an hour is kind of pitiful. So. Let's actually go into a couple additional things that you can do to prolong your battery life. So these edits right here that I'll just kind of show you are just completely separate from the power saving mode. So if you turn off your power saving mode, anything that you will change right now along with me uh, will need to be changed back to basically well, get back to how it was wor working before. So uh, again, pull down your notifications and here we have a bunch of toggles. Now, let's, before I start toggling off, right now we're looking at 17 hours and 52 minutes. So, number one, I'm going to turn off uh, Hotspot just because I have it enabled. Uh, I'm going to also turn off NFC just because I only use NFC when I'm paying for something at the store. Without, without actually being in the store, there is no real need for me to have this enabled because I'm not going to be paying for anything, thus I'm not going to need it. Then, let's flip over back here, we have location. Um, right now, just not doing really anything special, so location is completely uh, pointless for me. The ti times where I use it is, for instance, a GPS tracking uh, when you're using your phone with Google Maps, or for instance, when I'm using some kind of app that uh, requires it. I do, for instance, have a transportation app, uh, like, you know, public transportation, which utilizes it, so it quickly basically gains my location and then uh, allows me to just select where I want to go and without needing to actually select where I am because this will do it for me. So I don't need to use that right now, so I'm going to turn it off and then close. Then we have also Wi Fi and mobile data. Now, in typical circumstances, you would probably have both of them enabled. I do recommend turning one off and keeping the other one on. This will, uh, again, give you a little bit more extra battery life. And one last thing which will have the biggest impact is the brightness. So let's see if I actually detects the brightness and it does not, unfortunately. So as you can see, max brightness didn't change the timer here, which is a little bit of a shame. Let me quickly see if maybe if I do this, nope it has zero effect so this time right here is completely inaccurate in this case i can tell you that right now that whatever you are expecting to to have from this device whatever it tells you right here is strictly just wrong just because uh, changing the brightness does have a massive battery impact so right now that i basically maxed out the brightness of the device I should be looking at several hours of battery life that I have that I should have just lost, but I didn't like move a, a minute. So yeah, same goes with off. So the timer right here is completely wrong. It does not accommodate for any settings, meaning it's just a crap timer that I assume they have it based on the percentages, what they expect to get without basically keeping in mind anything that is enabled right here on the device or any kind of settings. So disregard this, in this case, altogether because it's inaccurate. But like I said, uh, last thing that will give you the bi biggest battery boost is changing the brightness, though not maxing it, but lowering it. So by just going from like max to halfway, though I went a little bit past halfway, you can expect several additional hours of battery life, which is more than the actual power saving mode will give you on its own. So this is one of those things that you could toggle 
or like you know, edit on the go without actually turning on power saving mode and still most likely have a better result than using power saving mode. So that is uh, for people that uh, don't need to have like brighter display right now because I do understand it is not a viable option for everybody. For instance, during the summer outside in direct sunlight, lowering your brightness on your phone will basically result in you not being able to see anything on the display. So I do understand this is not a viable option for everybody, but for people that it is, uh, it should give you an additional decent amount of battery life. So anyway, this was just kind of like a power saving mode with additional uh, things that you can do to preserve your battery life. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.